that's the function of the nipple now. But to give me, our own does each channel learning milk? Hmm? No, it serves no what? Function. Hello, shh. It's okay. I am very happy I'm not going to teach you guys any systemic topic. Boy reproduction, though, because can't see a funding ever. Let's continue. So, listen. Shh. Did I miss anyone? Wisdom, what? Teat. I can remember when I was very small. I don't know for you. I used to pray, let God give me what? That wisdom teeth. Yes, I have my permanent teeth, but I'm praying let that wisdom teeth come because with the name wisdom, probably if you get the teeth, you have what? You'll be wise. Abby? <laughs> but, but now I am older, I can understand why that extra teeth comes in. This is due to what? Evolution. Listing. Now, when man is at the phase of Homo habilis and Homo erectus, our jaw is what? Is longer than now. And our cranium is what? Smaller. Do you understand? So, as evolution is taking place in man, the head is becoming what? Bigger and the jaw is becoming what? Smaller. And okay, let's look at from the face of Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and now we are Homo sapiens, right? The jaw is now smaller than normal. Do you think it can still accommodate the number of teeth that we have now? If you have 38 teeth, and that is why you see most people with that wisdom teeth, they have problem. You understand? Because it is out of the what? The socket in the jaw. You understand? So the only way to, you know, remove the, you know, to Remove yourself from the wisdom teeth is by what? Surgically removing those teeth. So most people usually have problem with it once they have it. Because your jaw cannot accommodate that number of what? Teeth. Do you understand? Okay. So. Please, what is uh, adipose tissue? What is tissue self? In complexity of um, life, what is um, what is tissue? The what? Uh, tissues are a group of what? Similar cells that what perform a particular what function. I remember before cells can be what? Can turn into a tissue. That means that organism can differentiate their what? Cells. Abby, there are some organisms that cannot differentiate their cells. Like what? We have, uh, we have Pandorina, we have Volvox. Meaning, if an organism cannot differentiate their cell, that means all the cells in the body can perform any function. Do you understand? If there is a and reproduction, all the cells will what? Commit themselves to what? Reproduce. If it is respiration, all the cells will come together and what? Re to respire. Be. But when an organism can differentiate their cells, a, a group of cells will come together and be performing a particular function. Example is in the retinal cell, rod and what? Cone. Be. Rod and cones are the cells of the what? Eye that are sensitive to what? Light. Do you understand? So they help to capture image and send it to the what? Jesus. And send it to the optic what? Lobe. Optic lobe inside your what? Brain for interpretation. Do you understand? Okay, what are the cardiac cells? Nko? Cardiac cells are different from hepatic cell. Where can you find cardiac cells? My heart. Okay. Then where can you see hepatic cells? Eh? The liver. So you can see that as a human, all your uh, cells are what? 
differentiated. Now, what is adipose tissue? Adipose tissue is that group of cells that have what? Some kind of what? Collections of fatty cells. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is what we call what? Adipose tissue. In one manner too much, there will be formation of adipose tissue on your what? Belly. And you know what they call it? Pot. Belly. You understand? So, and uh, if you eat late at night, the tendency of developing it is also what? In when I found the word beer. And there is a problem when you marry. As a man, if you have adipose or tissue, your children will not know what? Who is what? The mother and the father. May well all <laughs> So, yes. You know, when we are small, sometimes you go to, to the bedroom where the, your parents are staying and be calling Papa da Daddy, come and what? Open toilet for us. He be too zi empa for, a for empa buribu. He me tu kuo maka. Mommy is pregnant too. The only way to sort them out is by what? Some, one of them were talking. Okay, let's continue. So, <clears throat> we have talk of what? We have talked of different vestigial what, organs. We have more of them. But we are not going to discuss all of them today. Do you understand? So, this also shows that organisms have been what? Evolving. Because if organisms evolve, there are some functions of your body that may not be relevant again in the new what? Environment. Abi? So, that means those ones become what? Useless. They can totally fizzle out of your body or remain very what? Small. And that is why if you remove them surgically, you still live your what? Normal life. I've seen someone without a tonsil and they are still living their normal what? Life. What of appendix? Inko? They still live their what? Normal life. Because it has no what? Function. I think I will, we'll move on, please. Evidence from vestigial organs. Let's go to the next... Um, Let's copy. Evidence from vestigial organ. Evidence from vestigial organs. Let's write, please. Vestigial organs are those organs Vestigial organ and um, vestigial organs are those organs that have lost that have lost their primary functions that have lost their primary functions over the years over the years over the years due to change in the features of the body due to change in the future features of the body features of the body during evolution during evolution during evolution examples of vestigial organs are Examples of vestigial organs are A. We have a male nipple. Male nipple. B. Tonsil. C. Appendix. D. Plicase millunaris. Plica semilunaris. E. Palmaris longus. Palmaris longus. F. Body hair. Is there another one I'm missing? Okay, we have a wisdom. Wisdom teeth. Then the last one is what? Cockies. 
Okay, don't worry, I'm going to explain this one. Finish up the write up. Okay, let me take this question. Sir, please, what is the reason for the scratching of the body after bathing with methylated uh, soap? Does it mean that the soap is not soap? Okay, sorry. Soap fight against germs in the body immediately. I don't know. This question goes in two ways. If without the soap, you still scratch, and with the soap, you still scratch, that means you are suffering from the apogenic dermatitis. Do you understand? But if without the soap, you don't scratch. But once you start using the soap, you start scratching. That means that soap is reacting with your what? Body. i be your skin. Do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. But whether you use it or not, you still scratch and win. Thank you. So that means you are suffering from it. And the only way to manage it is by what? I've told you. So... Sir, please, is Hydra a plant or an animal? Hydra is classified under Coelenterata. Coelenterata is under Invertebrata of Kingdom Animalia. What is your problem? So, Hydra is what? An animal, not a plant. What is the core key characteristics of a um, character of a plant they must possess what chlorophyll right whether the chlorophyll is masked with colored pigment or not they are classified under what plant and that is why talophyta have to follow in talophyta doesn't have a what root stem and what leaf but they are classified under their why because of the presence of what chlorophyll but you know that jambu weke juage then why is Euglena under protista? Eh? They may ask you, okay, since since Uncle have been saying that uh, that all plants must have chlorophyll uh, before you place them, why are we not placing Euglena under under what? Under plants? Eh? Okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Remember that all plants are multicellular, right? But protista are purely what? Unicellular. Okay, let's continue. Sir. Sir, please, how does wisdom teeth look like? It looks like normal teeth. It looks purely like the pre-molar and what? Molar. Do you understand? But the problem here is that it is located at where it's supposed not to what? B. Hmm? The back. After the molar. Then they now, now um, you know, place themselves at the back of the jaw. And it's very, very what? Painful. Due to there is no room for them again now. But they are now coming in again as well. And you are not going to use it and eat. Even if allow you to stay there. You not use it at what? Eat. That is why it is useless too. Okay. Let's move on to the cookies. As all of us are sitting down, you are sitting on your tail. I said this before. I said it before. That you are sitting on your what? Tail. Whether you like it or not. Hello. Listen. If, if you have seen the x-ray. I'll be ultra, I'll be ultra sonic um, scanning of a baby. Especially around one week and two weeks. But not one week. Let's say from two weeks to one month. You are going to notice that that baby have a tail. 
So, as development continue to what occur, the tail continue to fuse themselves into four bones, known as what? Known as these cookies. Now, what is the work of tail in amphibia and reptilia? For balance, why what? Running. Especially when they do want to do this swift corner running. You have watched Gazelle now. Gazelle can be chased by a cheetah, but do you know what he usually uses in winning it? That corner run. I make when I like this cheetah mezi again in Dawazi Gawa. Before now, what to we are very well. Gazelle and Alu go out his house. You understand? And what balances them is let's say, for example, this particular um, organism is trying to run this side. The tail is falling the other way. Why? Why? To balance, Abby. So that the animal during that particular run will not what? Fall. So it helps in stabilization during what? Flight. But in man. And that's why, do you know that man is very unstable? Do you know that man is very unstable? As we are standing, we are very unstable than a what? An animal on all fours. Hello. I think they are teaching you physics here. Center of gravity now. Is center of gravity a joke to you? If you watch very well, you can see that um, we are, I think we are under unstable equilibrium, right? Or uh, are we unstable, uh, in a stable equilibrium? No. It is those organisms on four because their weight falls from what? From their heart or the belly down. So you can't push them, they will fall like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? But as man, where is your um, gravitational pull is? From your buttocks. So that someone can push you from what? Front. The only way you can sort out yourself is by what? Pushing your leg back. So that that particular thing where to fall behind, between your what? Legs. And that is the only way you can be balanced. Do you understand? So... Um, we don't have tails, so that is another thing that made us not to be stable. Even running, self running, then we kick a ship, watch a lot, but no fee is Megan a Daluana. And then Daluana, you do some like five cycle before you stand up. Sir, is dimple and gap tooth among? Please, dimple is not a vestigial organ, it's a muscular defect on the cheek. Hello. Is a defect. Hello. Wow, I like your dimple. Biologically, you are what? Deficient. De <laughs> Hello. Hello. Shh, listen now. Hello, around your cheek, the muzzle, listen now. I don't know why you guys are making noise. Is it the dimple? Well, let's stop the dimple now and start another thing. Just like I told you, the dimple is not what? It's not, um, it's not a vestigial organ. It's a what? It's a muscular defect. Hello. Now, remember that the muscle is supposed to cover here totally. Do you understand? But, you know, during formation of fetus, the muscle, um, you know, was actually forming till it get to an extent. There is an opening there. There is an opening in between the muscles. That is what created that dimple. So whenever someone's laugh, it shows that defect. They say, wow. But biologically, it's a defect. So, Hello. Uh, for people that don't have dimple, when they say, nah, I'm going to dimple, you soon come, Megan, 
Cassio will go be. Some, eh? Why is it that what? The tempo. They want to open it. Hello. So, uh, she was saying something that some people want to create their own. Yeah, they let them continue. But what I'm trying to say, you know, people are doing crazy, crazy stuff. I don't know to fit, to belong. I always tell people that I don't know. For me, you see the way I'm created, I am happy. Any other additional thing I will do to do what one? No. People go there to, to the hospital, dentist, abaha. Then they will not create a hole. Abi? So that uh, what will happen? I'll have a gap tooth. It's fine. Hello. Acknowledging yourself starts from what? Within. It's just like people that are dark in complexion. A JJ Golu Karu White. A Goche Karu White. They will not mix. They will enter what? Organic what? Cream. So that they will be what? They will be fair. You know, they always tell themselves that look at the white now. The white look pure. They are beautiful more than us. I said no. Do you know that white hide ugliness? When you are not fine, you can use fairness to what? Deceive people. But if you are dark in complexion, once you are ugly, it shows it out. It brings out the best in you. Hello. I have seen, I watched one on TikTok where someone, I don't know, the Japanese are actually, you know, um, advertising for one bleaching cream. They say that it helps you remove your dirty, tough skin. These people are barely going to too much. Dirty, tough skin. Because one thing they know is that black skin is stronger and tougher than theirs. I can tell you for free. Do you understand? Uh, they, it helps you to remove that stubborn black. Our melanin is now a joke to what? Them. They now call it what? Um, dirty black. Not melanin again. Because what you are washing off from your skin is what? Melanin that shields you from the effect of what? Sun. How wise are you when you bleach, you go and apply sunscreen? Sunscreen that God has given to you on a platter of gold. Take sunscreen so that you not look like walking rainbow. Uncle. Why does teeth on top? On top of your teeth. Grow on top. On your daily fat, please, you are confusing me. I don't understand. Wait, oh. Someone will have teeth here. And grow another one yeah. That person is a vampire. Okay, the truth is that the person has what? A defect. You can't tell me someone will grow teeth here. The only teeth I can see that like that is in hippopotamus. Hippopotamus have different teeth around the world, jaw. But the truth is that if you have that kind of teeth, that means you are what? There is a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a defect. Yes. It's not a vestige organ. Hey, onya, onya nka to come again. What is the use of the Adam's apple? <laughs> Hello? And uh, 
Why don't female have it? Hey, okay. Hello. Hello. Where you have an enclosed between no no now. When you have an enclosed area and sound tends to enter that enclosed area, it forms a deeper word sound. Abby? That is why the larynx of male is what? Have that Adam apple so that when you talk, you understand. A man I'm working my guinea. You understand what I'm saying now? <laughs> but why would you want it for a female? Can we in our subas? Can we continue? No. Huh? They have it what? Okay. Hey. Sir, please walk us this open teeth. Because Jerry Satyanka, oh, no, not you, boom, not you. Hello. Listen, hello. The only thing, um, the main function of the cookies, which is to tell vertebrae, is to sh stabilize you while what running. But now, the only thing it does is to balance you while you are sitting what down. Do you understand? So that you can feel comfortable, sit erect, even without having any what support behind. Do you understand? That's what the cookies does now but it's part of the vestigial organ so and it is also evidence that probably we have tail then you have tail please are we done writing this okay i think uh, we have one more evidence to go that is evidence from what domesticated animal evidence from domesticated animal evidence from domesticated animals what is a domesticated animal animal that what stays nearer to what man abi have you watched animal that stays with man they usually have this characteristics of what human abby like a dog you can say tell a dog let's have a handshake or pregnant yeah. abby not that a cookie you are thinking <laughs> hmm? I'm okay, I'm. Hmm? can we continue please so megan um not that a cookie you are thinking but if you see a typical dog, not that one on a ganus on a chonyo gata, that thing is not a trained dog. A trained dog with the owner cannot bite, except if given command by what? The owner. But I want to be found as well as on a Nigeria. In a gafi neze alone keta. In keta, I eat you quite a lot, but you make any ano. All right. Um, if you watch most organisms, especially organisms that stays with man, that are adapted as what? Pets. You notice that what? They start behaving like what? Like what? Like human being. Another um, domesticated animal is cats. I hate cats. I hate cats. And I can tell you for what? Free. I hate cats. Okay, not a case of mm -hmm. You don't know my face. Mm -hmm. Hello, let's continue, please. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, please. Um, now, let's associate dog with the normal bush dog. That's the wolf. And other ones that stays in the forest. You know that normal wolf 
cannot hear, sit down. Ofugi, what is seen is what? Pizza and what? Shawarma. Do you understand? But dog, you can actually tell dog, sit down. I'm giving you food in the next seven hours. The thing will obey you, all right? <laughs> but not pit bull, though. Don't try it with pit bull. Pit bull will eat you. Okay, let's continue. Shh. Now you have seen that dog is part of the what? Bush animal before. But as, as an organism being adapted by human, he started what? Developing features like what? Human. Most times he can hear your language as he continues to stay with you, Abby. If you are using it was Bieba, it will start what? Obeying you that way. Dog tends to adapt. Why? Because of what? Evolution. Since it has been brought out of the wild, I don't know whether you, we can tame lion, Sha. People have started doing it, though. Sha, you know. Hmm? What is what? I don't know. They say it's pets. Hello? I think uh, the Saudi Arabian um, rich families, they used to adapt lion, tiger as what? Not for me. I know how strong my village people are. You understand? It's okay. So why do some women grow beets? Hello. Shh. Um, I don't like this noise. I take one noche. I may cheer again on. Let it not look as if I'm teaching a nursery pupil here. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. I will use like one hour and tell you to what? Close your mouth, then use the other hour to explain. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's move on, please. Um, there are some male that have a traces. Abi, can, can I call it traces of what? Estrogen in them. There are some female that have also traces of what? testosterone and sometimes it is genetically inherited from the what from the male side do you understand sometimes it can be reproductive defects during cell what division as the ball of what ball of ovaries trying to develop into a human that's another one too do you understand so there are a lot of ways some women can grow beets but i don't know don't ask me man why is man behaving like a woman that's a choice hmm? a man behaving like a what woman is a what is a choice i'm going to say not spiritual hello let's continue please hello now, organisms, shh, organisms, when adapted by man and kept as pets, they tend to evolve to what? To attain the characteristics of what? Humans. Do you understand? Everywhere I go, I usually talk about my dog. I usually talk about my dog. The way that dog behaves, like... That's why I say that some people are the house on Ketafazo. Some of them, they will not train a dog. Or where you will make any. And your dog are naked. You can't, you dare not cross that level. That they are serious. My cat, and get make again. A dog, a bam, bam, bam. But a trained dog, a trained dog can associate with what? Can associate with human and still obey the command of the master. But not like cat. Cat is different from dog. Do you know? I have someone that trains cat. He will tell you that dog, dog likes to be a slave. But you see cats. 
Cat likes to be your equal. You understand? Cat is going to be your equal. He's going to be your equal. He's going to be your equal. He's going to So can we continue, please? So we have known that domesticated animal evolved from what? The wild. They dropped the characteristics of what? Characteristics of the wild and become what? Start behaving like humans that have adapted them as what? Pets. Can we write, please? Can we write? Domesticated animals, right? Domesticated animals are those animals, right? Domesticated animals are those animals that have been adapted as pets by humans, that have been adapted by pets. Uh, that have been adapted as pets by humans. Adopted, yes. Adopted as pets by what? Humans. Adopted as pets by humans. Why not writing? Hmm? You're not doing that much. As pets. By what? Humans, full stop. When organisms move from the forest, when organisms move from the forest, when organisms move from the forest and stay closer with humans, and stay closer with humans, they evolve, they evolve, they evolve to possess, they evolve, they evolve to possess the features of humans. This is one of the evidence. This is one of the evidence. This is one of the evidence of evolution. This is one of evidence of evolution. This is one of evidence of evolution. Full stop. This is one of the evidence of evolution. Full stop. Alright, so um, I think uh, we need to continue. So the next one we are going into is um, we need to talk about types of evolution. Types of evolution. Now who can tell me types of evolution for people that are reading? Types of evolution. Types of evolution. Types of evolution. Okay, we have three types of evolution. We have the first one as convergent. Convergent what? Evolution. We have the first one as convergent evolution. We have the second one as divergent evolution we have the last one as parallel i know some correction fluid want to correct this one now parallel what evolution and i'm blasted sorry adaptive I don't understand. What happened to adaptive radiation? We have not started theory of evolution. 
Uncle, when animal come closer to animal, sorry, human, and evolve, why can't they talk? Why do some human have uh, more than five fingers? Hello. Um, it is due to mutation. It's just like asking me why we would two twins join by what? Shoulder or by hips or by what? By head. You know there are some like that. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know whether you are talking about the small one here. Abi, there are some that have full six fingers. There are some that have a stump here. It, even during bed, it looks like a what? Finger. Do you understand? That is what? Mutation. Okay? That's a mutation. So, we move into convergent evolution. Whenever you hear convergent, what does it mean? Different thing coming from different particular things into what? To meet at a what? Point. With this, you can be able to understand what convergent evolution means. Now, listen. When we talk about convergent evolution... It actually means different organisms of different what? Species developing a particular feature due to living in what? A particular what? Environment. You understand? Living in a similar environment. That is what we call convergent what? Evolution. Shh, please listen. I don't want to chase any of you out of my class. Hey, oh, chin, I can move. Hello, shh, listen. Listen. I've been walking around seeing some people not writing. And uh, from one excuses to another, Uncle, I am having Isina Wam Nafo. Um, Uncle, um, um, I'm not offering Balaj. I, I, I believe that human beings like to learn from their own experience. I always tell people that, especially the JAM students, that if you are going to be in the medical line, um, going to be in the health sciences, also biological sciences, some part of them, um, pharmaceutical sciences and even natural um, sciences, uh, sorry, agricultural sciences, that even if you are not going to write mass in this place, sorry, in your jam, that it is very important that you what? You attend it. I'm not saying for now. The effect is going to be very big for you in the university. Especially if you go to university that has a very low trace of what? Certain. You will use your eye and see your ear. That's you. In fact, you see yourself sleeping only two hours in a what? In a day. And I can tell you for free. Um, I want to do engineering. After all, uh, mass is my what? It's my consign. Thunder, what? 
biology. Then, as a biology student, if you must, you teach a UK. Unwe iki is making a genuine man America create movement to make any war. Let me tell you the truth. Even as student too, as student in your first year, you will still meet what we call GS, and that GS has what chemistry, physics, and biology. Whether you like it or not, sometimes you don't ask questions from your superior. You understand? And uh, I can tell you for free, yes, from faculty of biological sciences, that's where I studied. And I can tell you that I did maths to the second year. What did they use maths to do? Can you use Wopijin and Kakarigo? What am I using maths to do? Maths, Mekwo Banye Kuogini for the mass. I'm not joking. I can remember I can remember mass 111 and 101 they gave to us. Well, I made the mistake just like you. Since I don't have the since I don't have what? I don't have um I don't have any connection with mass. I can do away with mass. That's what I did. And then bang, they were teaching us pure. In fact, we have a good teacher that teaches us what? For that mass very well. In fact, if you even if you are staying back, you'll be understanding even when you don't you have zero knowledge of that word for that mass. I do away with it and entered what? University. Wow, where if you say again it mass one one one. Nezian your bologene for that mass and that is when you are going to pay through your nose this one is night class they put it at night class night class eight to ten no they will do it inside the campus at the same time mm? or na be off camp that means you have to juggle yourself into the campus and do what? And learn mass. And that mass, if you get JG slow motion, each time you come, they collect 3K from you. In a class of up to 500, multiply yeah, every day. Let's say, for example, on our Kuzilai um, vectors, because we learned vectors that then. Vectors. And we can MF vectors like five class, multiply it by 2K. And the, the class is almost what? Every day. I'm not talking about the money loss in this case. I'm talking about what? I'm talking about the energy. After lectures, um, some people, some, some good lecturers will put their um, lectures by what? By 6.30. They are very good. You understand? And your mellow class by 3 o'clock. It can be way too many. They will tell you, go and sign your course what? Course uh, book, um, this thing. And you are going to um, sign it, or take it from that four or three to six. In a tazina, that you are in a room. And when you come back, my dear Nidhi, but care time ages here. You now come back, that is why you see some people. One guy came to my decent daddy and said, Oh God, why are you eating gare and what? Why are you thinking gare? Why you have yam over there you can cook? You say I can have time more day. I have another class by what? Nine. Do you know a situation whereby you prefer sleep than food? You understand? You just drink the gare. You know fuzzy. Like you turn to general overseer, you will not be seen clearly. Hmm? You know. You now lie down from that seat, put alarm by nine. Oh, nine now he gets in here like eight forty one alarm, eight forty one one alarm because he might go, you might disgrace yourself. That is before you snooze, 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 snooze till nine o'clock. You what? Wake up. He wear the panya lapa. Megini, start going to what? At night, nine. And another thing is your security too. 
In Alaba, sometimes a fundi do such a candle red. You know, I cover when with the blood of Jesus. Hmm? You carry yourself again and start moving what? Down to where they are what? Doing the class. Sometimes he be late. He will go to the 2K. Now, you suffer. Your waste will not be wasting again. It will not look like your waste again. You understand? Banyo from 10 to 1 because when they usually close the lecture is 2. 2 o'clock, the class ends. Hello? I am trying to tell you, just imagine the suffer head when you don't do what you're supposed to do. Do you understand? By that too, open at your place is safe. You can what? You can go back. But if your place is not safe, you prepare yourself for another lecture from that place. Where ten mili kwacha erugi. Then deze deje tu kuruziana. You understand? Sit down there, but <laughs> we manage our mouth. You don't talk to anybody. Na kifenem. You understand? Then from there again, you move back. And now bait what you're supposed to bait in the morning. And what? Come back. The worst is that you are losing money, you are losing energy, you are losing your time. At the same time. You know when I see people, when they are teaching biology, I say, yeah, I don't, I don't do biology. Hello, 151 some in the engineering. I have seen some in some universities. Physics, okay, physics is I think physics in the medical sciences very well. Biological sciences, metal mass, are that with statistics. You know, you know, Nigeria, you are doing courses that are not even relevant to your this thing. Library science. What is library doing inside biological sciences? But you have to. And if you don't do it, you are not coming out with what? Certificates. I always say this. Hello. I always say this that some of you are playing. I have told you that pride cannot make you to learn. And I have said this time with that number. I've just been watching. Do you know I'm not why I'm not even perturbed about you writing or not? It's your own palaver. But I am actually pitying someone that is sponsoring you to do this. Because you are not doing anything. A Jilo guy Where you see PhD students go to universities. I said, Ola like this. Be going for their lectures, rocking their addressing. I see some of you. It will look 20 leaves. It is as well. So that I think your yard people and the quendos again. Your street people will not know you are still what? Reading. All the kids go see a house and I graduated the last seven years. Well, it's fine. If you like, do it. If you don't like, is it true that? Cat saliva causes blindness. I don't know that one. No. Probably we can go and research. But then we I don't know. So we will go and research over that one. I don't know. So let's move on. We are done with domesticated. Then we enter convergent evolution. I told you that convergent evolution is a type of evolution where different organisms or different species does what? Develop similar traits due to Staying and living in what? Similar habitat. What are examples of convergent evolution? Uh, not dog and man. Have you seen bats before? What of insects? What of birds? Now, this is a convergent evolution. All of them fly. But this one is a mammal. This one is an arthropod. This one is under A. So you can see there are different species here, B. 
But they have a common thing, they win. Do you understand? So now, different organisms that adapted what? Adapted um, a similar thread due to living in a similar what? Environment. Do you understand? Just like we have bats now. Bat is a mammal. Insect is what? Arthropod. Insect is under arthropod. Then we have birds under what? Apes. You can see they have different what? Taxonomical classification. But they still possess the same thing what? Wings. That's an example of what? Convergent evolution. With the explanation of convergent evolution, who can tell me what divergent means? Hmm? Huh? Divergent. Coming from a point spreading out, Abby. Yes. That is divergent. Yes. Even in lens, they taught you, Abby. Um, divergent means a ray of light from a particular point spreading out, Abby. Yes. So, if you look at divergent, it means organisms of the same species yes. developing different threats while living in different what? Yes. habitats. Now, what are these organisms? Have you heard of wolf? What of dog? There is another, um, I've forgotten the name of this dog. That a head fox. You see dog. You see wolf. You see fox. I'm coming. Fox is under what? Divergent evolution. If you carry dog and put where fox, so no, or Do you know why? Fox usually live in a place where there is what? low temperature. Do you understand? It has that adaptive feature to stay and shield itself from the low cold, uh, low environment of that, I'm um, sorry, low temperature of that word, environment. Now, wolf, unko, can wolf stay where force is? And you can see that wolf has a different feature with dog. Abi now. Why? Because dog lives with human, wolf doesn't. So, dog can do what wolf cannot do. And wolf can do what dog cannot, but they are of the same what species. So that is what we call divergent evolution. Divergent what evolution? Let's talk about parallel evolution. Parallel, uh, parallel, parallel evolution. What is parallel evolution? Okay, when we are discussing about a uh, convergent evolution, we have something like this. Like animal A, animal B, animal what? C. Having the same feature, what? P. What do we call this? Convergent, B. But when we have, when we have animal A, but they are of the same species, having different features, P, Q, R. That is what we call what? Divergent. What of parallel? So... They don't touch each other, Abby. Meaning that this organism can be the same species or different what species, but they still acquire different what traits. For example, when we talk about placental mammal and non-placental mammal, do you understand? Kangaroo between kangaroo and man, they are different, Abby. But are they of the same in the same taxonomical classification? Yes, but they have different what features. In kangaroo, it has what? A pouch there, Abby. And uh, inside, the baby is not attached to the maternal body by what? Placenta. That is why they are called marsupial what? Mama. You can see that they have different... In fact, it can be different organism adapting different what? Threats. Or also the same organism adapting different what? Threats. And that is what we call what? Parallel. Example is marsupial and what? And what? And the placenta what? Mammal. Do you understand? So what did I say in convergent evolution? Huh? When what?
convergence. Okay, let us write. Types of evolution. Types of evolution. Types of evolution. There are three major 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 types of evolution, namely A, convergent, convergent evolution. A, convergent evolution. A, convergent evolution. Are we good to go? It is a process whereby it is a process whereby organisms organisms convergent evolution column it is a process whereby organisms that are not closely related it's a process whereby organisms that are not closely related independently evolve independently evolve independently evolve to acquire similar traits independently evolve to acquire similar traits independently evolve to acquire similar traits due to living in the same habitat due to living in the same habitat due to living in the same habitat example is seen in flying animals example is seen in flying animals seen s e e n is found in flying what animals then you open a bracket. What are those flying animals? I mentioned it there, right? Birds, insects, and what? And uh, birds. And also, another example is what? Um, aquatic animals. Aquatic animals, you can see between dolphin and what? Fish. Dolphin, is it a fish? No, it is a what? Mama, right? You can see they are not closely what? Closely related. But something happened that they don't have the same what? They have the same features, Abby. They have the same features and they are of different what? Species. So the second one, divergent evolution. Second one, divergent evolution. Divergent evolution. It is a type of evolution. It is a type of evolution where closely, where closely related animals or organisms, where closely related animals or organisms or organisms develop 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 different traits develop different traits develop different traits while 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 living in different habitats 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 full stop while living in different habitats full stop let's move ahead while living in different words habitat full stop example is between you know what i mentioned dog wolf and fox dog wolf and fox let's move ahead please 
It is a process where organisms of the same Sorry, we are going to parallel evolution. We are going to parallel, sorry. Parallel what? Evolution. That should be the C part or number three. Number three. Parallel evolution. It is a process where where organisms of the same or different species of the same or different species of the same or different species acquire acquire different traits acquire different traits tra acquire different traits while living in same habitat acquire different traits while living in the same habitat acquire different traits while living in the same what habitat example is between marsupial mammal you can call that marsupial mammal what non placental mammal marsupial mammal think marsupial mammal it can also be called what non placental mammal marsupial mammal or we can call it what non placental so it's between marsupial mammal and placenta what mammal placental mammals placenta mammals we move Marsupial mammal and the placental mammal. Marsupial mammal and the placental mammal. Marsupial mammal and the placental mammal. Example. Okay, we have written example. We are entering theory of evolution. And I think that is the last part of what? Evolution. Then after evolution... We'll still pick another one, another topic. Hmm? No, I'm not entering systemic at all. We divided our work, so. Hmm? Which topic I've not finished? So, we will choose one and uh, move into it. There are a lot of things to treat. Hello. Like I said, I'm going to take the difficult part of biology. Like, we have, um, we are going to take ecology. Ecology is the hardest part of it. Although it's not hard though. But what makes the topic is that it's a kind of boring, quite alright. But we must venture into it. Because... Jambu is set question where you don't like. That is just it. Uh -huh. When they now ask you, most state is dash. A dege tropical rainforest. Deloge Sahel Savannah. Guinea Savannah. How are you going to answer it? If you don't know them. They will ask you the instrument used for measuring altitude. If you don't know it, a dia. They will tell you what, which of the following is the correct ascending order of marine zone. And that marine zone is just like uh, in taxonomy where we have uh, a kingdom, phylum, class, order, and the rest. Abi? <laughs> That's another. Yes, because you are going to meet them. I think it's up to seven zones. Of the marine. We have the first one as well. Who can tell me? The first one is what? I, I, I always tell you that I don't like suffering myself while reading. Once I see and encounter something that is very difficult, I use what? Acronyms to just to bypass that one. You have a lot of things to... biology <laughs> Remember your physics. Remember your what? Chemistry. 
And uh, open our mass to the involve. We might go and now. Then still remember English. Mm -hmm. So, so I always tell you, you, you know, when I was teaching taxonomy, I gave example of the acronym like King Philip came over for great spaghetti. And how I read and also understand is to associate whatever I'm reading with a life event. Once I do that, I am not sure that thing can go out of my head. Do you understand? King Philip, K means what? Philip means what? K means what? Over means what? For means what? Great means what? Supergetti means what? Uh, we, we started deriving our own acronyms that day. I gave you two more. Abina, I said Kelechuku Peter can order four G wagon words secretly. And also mentioned the other part. Kids prefer. Prefer carrot over fresh green, green words salad. Now, in, uh, in part of um, um, ecology, now that place is very hard. You can even miss flash, a splash zone with pelagic zone. How do you set this thing in a correct sequence? It's by using your acronym. I think I um, mean 20, 20, first 20 elements in chemistry. I think there is an acronym there too. Uh -huh. so that in Okati mix a fluorine with the other one. I'll be mixed the other one. You know, you have, we have a lot of things to think about. So if you want to set it in order, I gave this method sell in Lagos before. Peter's egg hash. So with this, we have that S is what? Splash zone. Now the second one is in tertidal zone. This in tertidal zone can also be called nectic zone. Now L means what? Littoral zone. Littoral zone can also be called subtidal what? Zone. Then B means what? Bentic zone. Do you understand? Bentic zone doesn't have another name. Then pelagic is P, which can also be called abysmal zone. Then the last part, which you can never enter in your life, is hedal zone. Whether you're a deep sea diver or what, or you're a deeper sea diver, you cannot reach that part. In fact, you can't reach pelagic. You start hearing crack on your what? On your skeletal system. You know why? Pressure. You know pressure increases with decreasing area B? Pressure increases with what? Decreasing what? Area B? So it's just like a tiny you inside that large ocean. Or they keep a million easy. All those ocean on your head. And you know what will happen? Uh -huh. If that thing can be able to explode, I, I think the oceanic submarine, who are you? What is your skeleton made up of? It looks like a, you understand? Don't talk of a submarine. Okay, so I have told you, use a life event and associate whatever you are what? Reading, I've been saying this time without number. It makes reading what? Fun. But if you don't read and associate things with acronyms and the rest, God forbid, you know there are sometimes you can become frustrated while studying. It have it have happened to me, but I always have a way around it. You understand? Just like when you come to digestive system, they will tell you in duodenum. Some of them even have the same enzyme. What I use is smell. Smell in for what? Smell for small intestine. S is what? Sucrase. M is what? Maltase. A, uh, A is what? Amylase. Sorry. E means what? Eh? Erepsin. L means what? Lipase. L means what again? Lactase. Even the other one in diodomin, I use what? Bait. This thing can actually help you to do what? To be very fast while what? Reading. And another thing is that it is not. Nelalugopola since two days ago. 
and she's still lying down again. I don't like it. Stop, stop sleeping. Bait, you know what is inside there now. Amulet, lipase, trypsin. Now, you can actually use this to help yourself. Why arranging something in what? Order. Very easy. Do you understand? You can use life events too to associate this. If you ask me, uncle, please, uh, we don't know what cell division means. I want you to teach us meiosis and mitosis. Do you know what comes to my mind? A football scene. In fact, whatever that happened before football starts is what is happening in what? In what? In during mitosis and even meiosis. You understand? Uh -huh. You remember that before ball starts, what happened? You understand? They will clear the area, B. And that is what is happening in what? That is what, in, what is happening between interface and prophase whereby the cell sorry the nuclear membrane needs to open something starts disappearing that is the rubbish inside the field now and after that all the players will be at the opposite of their what as in they will stay inside that's the players are the chromatins now they will stay in their different dressing room now gisting and preparing and the rest blah 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 then the next thing is what we now enter the phase whereby they have to come to the middle that is when they are doing the first word opening what i think uh, they call it um, when they want to pass ball or also do what and um, when they are praying they stay at the middle and that is when the chromatins are what at the middle aligning at the equator then after passing the ball what happened all of them go back to their respective wing that is anaphase before the last one happens is very easy when you associate it i don't think you can forget things what easily but okay go on i now go now you 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 excuse me you will do what you will still come back to that particular thing continue to what read it that is how that is the hack use acronym use life event associate it it's just like if I want to explain alcoholic fermentation, I remember my great grandfather. I can use them, um, my you know annual marker to remember him. He's a great pan wine tapper. Not even a wumba. Do you understand? So he usually places the keg of pan wine on top of what? Why is he not placing it on the cement than on top? He places it on top of a wood than on the cement. Why is he not using a tight lid to close it? CO2 to go out, Abby. And as CO2 is going out, what is happening to the wine? The wine is changing into a sour taste, Abby. That means the sugar there as a reaction. If you want to write um, alcoholic fermentation or probably, um, um, what, what do we call it again? Um, um, anaerobic respiration. These are ways to learn. You understand? And another way to learn is find a textbook that is what simplified i always say this before you even re research the ababoyi basu you already tired e kapalugo da kwa to so ge de bi eka mother baba school where now go all these what languages in form of vocab do you understand so these are the way to learn and the what pass major so um there are a lot of them life events when you say uncle i can you teach me this this are the ways to go about it it stays in your memory why if you know that your brain actually then you follow it by how it works your brain don't want to learn anything that will disturb it if all trouble phone 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 for I am ejected your job career, something serious. That's why you, you can remember the production if I teach you now. Damn flower, cause it's a logi. On a toy fan, a toy le 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 le. So let me tell you. So for you to do, that, and that is why whenever your brain is under a phone, it learn easier than what? Than when it is under pressure. That is it. If you understand it that way. 
life becomes easy for you to what? Study. You understand? For guys now, you know your clubs now. If I say now, call the first 11 of your club, probably, um, mind you now. Hey, what are you saying? The second 11. Can't you go on the bench? But have you sat down and wrote all the names down to learn it? No, Abi. But you are doing this with what? For no more, a romantic novel, uncle. A good child, romantic novel. All the scenes that are playing inside your what? Head. You do it with what? For. I was teaching um, binomial nomenclature. I am calling Kajanus Kajan, Kanis Domestica. Some people are now saying, if I can mad at But you as a guy, a guy who what? Italian player's name. More French um, player's name. Tinyani Sigi. When they lose the call, man, Why? Because your brain is wired to what? Just have that form. But you have to rewire it. If you actually want to do what? Learn. Let's continue, please. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. So we are done with. We are done with. Um, we are done with types of evolution. We are going into theory of what evolution, and um, there are three remarkable scientists that we are going to mention, and. Uh, we are going to discuss them little by little. Then we call it a day. Next week, we are starting a new topic. So, although you people will choose. Okay, let's move on. We have... Um, theory of evolution theory of evolution now there are three key scientists we have other ones so abby we have lot and lot of them our chairman who is known as what uh, we know now father of evolution is what father of cell is what Robert Hooke. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Father of biology is what? Yes. <laughs> so good at Father of taxonomy is what? Yes. Father of genetics is what? Yes. Grego yes. Mendel, right? Okay. So, <laughs> the first man is not what you are thinking, not the Charles Darwin. Although he's the father, sha, but we need to talk about Jean Baptist Lamarck. Jean Baptist Lamarck. Jean Baptist Lamarck is uh, the first um, person we are going to call here. Then the next one is the Charles Sigini, Charles Darwin. The last person is Hugo. The Vries. These are the three persons, three scientists. So we have Jim Baptist Lamarck, Charles Darwin, and um, and Hugo De Vries. So these are the three people that works on the theory of evolution that is still widely accepted to what today. So we are going to discuss them right now. Hello. And I'm going to touch all of them one after the other then because I think um, we are almost uh, three minutes away from closure. Okay, so now Jim Baptist Lamarck was able to make a theory that talks about user what? Disuse. Abi? User what? Disuse. He said that when something, like for example, if I'm not using part of my hands very well, Let's say, okay, let's say that you are left-handed. You notice that, that your left hand is slightly bigger than the right hand. Have you noticed it? Hello. You might not notice it now, but while you are growing, the thing used to show sometimes. 
this place is bigger than what the other so he was trying to tell us that um when organism continue to use a particular part of the body the team develop more and become more what powerful but once a part of the body is not frequently used it what it diminishes and what probably fizzle out of the part of that body you understand that's what jim baptist lamak was saying we will discuss it even his uh, giraffe illustration and the rest so charles darwin Inko. charles darwin talks about survival of the world fittest he was you know telling us that um organism we have different features right one may be tall one may be short one may be between tall and short some will be taller than the shortest and shorter than the shortest some will be taller than the tallest and shorter than the tallest you understand all these things are what are different genetic what differences now now if you watch very well most of these heights may not favor some organism do you understand it may not favor them like for example all of us sweat differently here the way our body sends what temperature change do you understand there are some people now when everywhere is cold that is their best what time yeah there are some people like that oh you know i told like this uh, you know me like this you know me like this this is his best what season but when the temperature becomes high enough your next sweat he's sweating profusely abi but what of you? You know what? I can't go near next week like Christmas goods. Or in the morning. But you, at that moment, you love that what? Temperature. For him, is the worst moment. We, what? But let's say, for example, now, these different features are pushed into the desert. Who will survive? Who do you think that will survive? Since we are talking about Charles Darwin here. The one that doesn't sweat much during high temperature, Abby, we survive because you know that desert is what? Lack of water. It will dry you up. Not to talk of producing water, it will dry. So who will dehydrate faster? The one sweating. As the sun is coming, you are producing sweat, uh, sorry, sweat to cool it down. And the, the environment is what? Drying your sweat. The other person is conserving water. So the other person waking for like four days, go and wake him under 24 hours. With that kind of what? Ability. You can see survival of the fitted. Having different features, then environment will now pick the ones that can adapt to that particular what? Place. Then leaving other ones. So those ones that cannot adapt to what? Die off. And will not produce offspring of the same what? Of the same character why the ones that survive will now continue to produce that thereby continuing the what the existence of that species that is survival of the what fittest who got that race who got that Davris was trying to tell us um, a situation whereby that in as much as environment because if you look at Charles Darwin and uh, Jim Baptist Lamarck the two of them we are talking about the same thing, what? Environment, right? But when we talk about Hugo Davries, Hugo Davries made his own theory differently. He associated his theory with what? Mutation. Hello? He said that, please, me chenu no ono now. Wouldn't like me to talk. I draw a geta juju now. Ishigi empty. Tabra laza latra kum kum. Nothing inside. But you be making noise in my class. So, like I said, who got the breeze based his evolution on what? Mutation. On mutation. And you know what mutation means. The sudden change in the what? In the DNA structure of an organism. 
And this DNA structure can bring about what? But remember that most of the times mutation can cause what? Death. Do you understand? Like, um, I think uh, in Hiroshima, but we are going to discuss this later. In Hiroshima, Japan, where USA dropped, um, Abi, what, what's the name of that bo bomb? I think it's b Baby Boy. They call it Baby Boy or something like that. Okay, little boy, Abi. That the radiation is still there till today. Most of the women there are having mutation, having a lot of conjoined what? Babies due to what? The radiation. Now, take when this mutation now happen and they start giving birth and start transferring the gene. Probably a blunt thing where what? Where a kind of what? Um, a kind of projection. And they will transfer the gene. From there, if they intermarry, come to Africa. <laughs> do you understand? You can see that evolution has started from that particular what? Mutation. Uh, we are going to discuss this in, in essence by next week. I think uh, on what? Wednesday. Um, we are going to call it a day.